Magandang umaga po sa kanilang lahat. Good morning, Father. We now begin our celebration in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Dear brothers and sisters, let us now acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. All together, I confess to Almighty God, that in my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, fill our hearts with love, and as you reveal to us by an angel the coming of your Son in human form, so lead us through his suffering and death to the glory of his resurrection, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Zechariah. Sing and rejoice, O daughter Zion. See, I am coming to dwell among you, says the Lord. Many nations shall join themselves to the Lord on that day, and they shall be his people, and he will dwell among you, and you shall know that the Lord of hosts has sent me to you. The Lord will possess Judah as his portion in the Holy Land, and he will again choose Jerusalem. Silence, all mankind, in the presence of the Lord, for he steers forth from his holy dwelling. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is His name. The Almighty has done great. Mary said, My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his From this day, all generations will call me blessed. 
The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is His name. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is His name. He has mercy on those who fear Him in every generation. He has shown the strength of His arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is His name. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones, and has lift, lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is His He has come to the help of His servant Israel, for He has remembered His promise of mercy, the promise He made to our fathers, to Abraham, and his children forever. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After Jesus has ascended to heaven, the apostles returned to Jerusalem from the mount called Olives, near Jerusalem, a mere Sabbath's journey away. Entering the city, they went to the upstairs room where they were staying, Peter and John, and James and Andrew, Philip and Thomas, Bartholomew and Matthew, James, son of Alpheus, Simon, the zealot party member, and Judas, son of James. Together, they devoted themselves to constant prayer. There were some women in their company, and Mary, the mother of Jesus, and his brothers. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The angel Gabriel was sent from God to a town of Galilee named Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary. Upon arriving, the angel said to her, Rejoice, O highly favored daughter. The Lord is with you. Blessed are you among the women. She was deeply troubled by his words and wondered what his greeting meant. The angel went on to say to her, Do not fear, Mary. You have found favor with God. You shall conceive and bear a son and give him the name Jesus. Great will be his dignity, and he will be called Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of David his father. He will rule over the house of Jacob forever, and his reign will be without end. 
Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I do not know man? The angel answered her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Hence, the holy offspring to be born will be called Son of God. Know that Elizabeth, your kinswoman, has conceived a son in her old age. She who was thought to be sterile is now in her sixth month, for nothing is impossible with God. Mary said, I am the maidservant of the Lord. Let it be done to me as you say. With that, the angel left her. Beloved, the good news of our salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Sa muli po, magandang umaga sa kanilang lahat. Hello. Ayan. I'm overwhelmed dahil uh, ngayon sa araw ng kapistahan ng mahal na birhen ng Santo Rosario ng Manawag, nag-uumaw po pa rin ang debosyon at presensya ng mga taong gusto makibahagi sa napakahalaga at banal na araw na ito para sa ating pananampalataya. Siguro naman, kanya-kanya kayo, kayo ng kwento ng pagparito, lalong-lalo na yung mga galing pa sa malalayo, sa Ilagaman, Katimugan, o sa Kalakang Maynila. Maagang gumising, nag-prepare, at pumarini. Taliwas sa uh, siguro ang tukso sa araw ng linggong ito ay yung magtagal ng konti sa higaan, mag-relax dahil nga linggo, at ito ay para sa kanila araw ng pahinga sa trabaho. Ito yung mga masasabi natin eh, tila questionable yung kanilang eh, pinaprofess na pananampalataya o kaya kanilang pag-ako sa Diyos, sa kanilang pansariling pamamaraan, hindi ayon sa ating eh, sinusunod eh, na imbitasyon ng simbahan na sa bawat linggo ay pangilin upang eh, ihanda at uh, ialay sa Diyos. Maging sa ordinaryong uh, pagbasa ngayong linggo, ito ay pinapakita sa paglapit ng mga apostol sa Panginoon. Panginoon, dagdagan mo po ang aming pananampalataya. Increase our faith. At kung kayo ang aking tatanungin, Kumusta naman po ang kalagayan ng inyong pananampalataya? Ito ba ay marugdog, malalim, o para lang sa araw na ito? Dahil tayo ay may hinihiling, inilulog sa mahal na birhen, na ipamagitan sa ating Diyos upang halinawa ay sagutin. Pag sinagot, salamat. Pag hindi, well, sa susunod na taon na lamang or sa takdang panahon. Ganun ba ang kalagayan ng ating pagharap sa Diyos? Dahil sa puntong ito, ipinapaanana sa atin ng pagsisilbi sa Diyos, pagsisilbi sa anumang paraan, lalong-lalo na sa pagpapakita ng kabutihan. Kung ito ay kusang loob na ginagawa, walang hinihiling na kapalit. Kaya nga kung sa atin, sagutin man tayo, eh hindi, alam natin. Tayo ay pinakinggan ng Diyos. Tayo ay narinig ng Diyos. Hindi tulad ng mga nag-iisip na tila bingi ang Diyos, wala siya sa aming harapan. Sa mga pangyayari, sa kalikasan, lalong-lalo na sa mga pagkakataon, kasi payuan, mga problema, pagsubok ang dumaratal. Ano ang nagiging tugon natin? Ang pagtatanong, tayo nga ba ay minamahal ng Diyos? Abay, hindi na po dapat tanungin niyan. Dahil alam naman natin, 
ang ating pagpunta rito, ang ating buhay, ang ating pagkatao ay alay, regalo sa atin ng Diyos na ibinigay upang ating gamitin sa pinakamagandang pamamaraan na maaari nating ialay pabalik sa Kanya. Kaya marahil ang pagparito natin ay pagkilala sa isang tao katulad natin. Hindi siya Diyos. Hindi natin siya dinidiyos. Minamahal lang naman natin siya bilang atin na rin ina. Dahil sa paanan ng krus, ito nilaga ng Panginoong Jesus sa pamamagitan ni San Juan Evangelista. Isa sa kanyang mga alagad na nag-iisang nanindigan sa paanan ng krus upang maging ina rin natin. Maging takbuhan upang maybe kwentuhan ng ating mga pinagdadaanan at kalakip na rito yung paghingi mahal na ina tulong ng bantis. Yung ganyang paghihibok at paglapit ng may pagpapakumbaba. Dahil yan ang naging tugo ng ating mahal na ina sa isang hamon sa kanyang murang edad na ating narinig at sa palagay ko sa pagkakataon ito ay pamilyar na pamilyaran sa atin yung pagtatalaga sa Kanya, paghahanda sa Kanya sa isang napakalaking katungkulan sa ating buhay, pananampalataya. At ito ay bigyang buhay sa Kanyang sinapukunan ang daan ng kaligtasan ng sangkatauhan. Ang anak na ka Diyos, ang ating Panginoong Yes Kristo, na siyang dahilan kung bakit siya tinatawag na pinagpala sa babaeng lahat, kung bakit siya ay ating binibigyan ng ating respeto at pagpupugay. Hindi upang sambahin, kundi upang maging gawaran. Katulad nating taong nakaapak sa lupa at nagbigay ng kanyang sariling kwento. Kwento ng kasiyahan man, ngunit pighati sa kalaunan dahil sa kanyang tahirahak na paghihirap kasabay ng kanyang anak na si Jesus. Kaya kung ating makikita ang pinagdaan ng hirap at sakit ng mahala birhen, siguro naman makakarelate tayo dahil paminsan-minsan o kadalasan marahil, lalong-lalo na sa ating mga may dinadala nga mga issues, kahirapan sa buhay, andoon na rin yung problema na sana ay bigyan natin ng counting, uh, sabihin natin level up sa pagtingin kung ano ang mayroon tayo at huwag masyado ikukomplain kung ano yung wala. Dahil nga yung pag-aalay ng sarili, pagtulong, ay hindi matatawaran kung ito ay bukal sa ating kalooban. Kaya nga ba, hayaan nyo nga at least bigyan po gay ko rin yung sa panahon ng na, nagdaan sa ko na, lalong-lalo na nahagupit ng uh, kalikasan, itong si Carding, ewan ko kang uh, medyo naramdaman natin dito, pero tila may mga piniling lugar upang bigyan ng pagsubok, hindi lamang sa kanilang pananampalataya, ngunit sa kanilang buhay mismo bilang tao. Kung tutusin, kung nakikinig tayo sa mga balita, sa labing dalawang namatay sa nagdaang bagyo, halos kalahati noon ay masasabi nating may ginawa. Aktibong ginawa upang tumulong. Tumulong upang magligtas ng buhay. Ngunit sa pagkakataon, ito isang napakalaging pagsubok marahil, lalong-lalo na sa kanilang mga kanya-kanyang pamilya, yung limang rescuers sa, San, sa Bulacan, na hanggang ngayon ay nakalamay sa kanilang provincial capital upang bigyan pugay naman. Pasalamatan sa kinikilalang kabayanihan. Ito ang masasabi kong narahil isang napakalaking pagsubok dahil unang-una na yung limang kataong ito nawala yung buhay. 
binawi ng Diyos. Pero kung wala kang pagtitiwala sa Diyos, ito ay mukhang walang saysay dahil sila ay nawala sa kalaunan, makakalimutan. Ngunit sa palagay niyo kaya, sa kamay ng Diyos, sa puso ng Diyos, sila ay makakalimutan. Yun ang masasabi nating ang balik sa kanila. Sa mata man ng tao ay pagkawala sa mundo, hindi kaya naman ang kabalik taran ng ating iniisip ay ang pangyayaring sila ay malugod na nakauwi na sa kanilang tunay na hantungan, tunay na tahan. Yun pang isipin natin. Lahat naman ng pagpupunyagi, pagsisilbi natin sa Diyos ay may katapusan. At ano bang ating minimithe? Ito ay ang makabalik sa Diyos, tanggapin sa kanyang harapan at mapabilang sa mga banal na nagkamit ng tunay na kaligtasan galing sa Diyos. At sa puntong ito, masasabi nating ang huwara ng mahal na Birhen ang ating palaging tinitingnan. At sa pagpupugay niya, pagbibigay sa Diyos ng pakikiisa sa paghihirap ng kanyang anak, sa pagtahat ng buhay, ng masasabi nating pagdurusa. Ano naman ang naging handog ng Diyos sa ating mahal na ina? Kundi ang mawala man siya sa mundo ay hindi nagdanas ng pagkasira ang kanyang katawang lupa bagkos buong katawan at kaluluwa ay iniakyat sa Diyos, ng Diyos sa langit upang makapili ng kanyang anak at koronahan bilang rayna ng sanlibutan. Yan ang kwento ng Mahalabirin na ating tinitingala at pinasasalamatan at dinagigyang daan upang tayo ay makatawag sa Diyos sa pamamagitan niya. Dahil sa Kanya, malapit sa Diyos. Napakalapit sa Diyos. Anak niyang Diyos, ang ating Ipanginoon Kaso Kristo, na nagbibigay sa atin ng pangako na sa mga taong naging matapat, sa mga taong hindi ininda ang pagkutya at ang anumang pag-uusig ng mundong itong tila nakakalimot sa Diyos. Iyon ang naging hantugan ng pag-aalay ng Kanyang sarili. Tayo kaya sa ating pananampalataya, sa ating buhay kristyano, sa loob man, lalong-lalo na sa labas ng simbahan, sa ating ordinaryong buhay pang araw-araw, tayo ba ay kinakakitaan din ng ganitong pagbibigay ng ating sarili? Hindi upang purihin at bigyan pugay ng mga tao, ngunit upang kilalanin at harinawa ang kining muli ng Diyos sa atin, sa paglisa natin sa mundo. Ito po ang ating minimiti, ito ang ating hinihiling sa mahal na ina. Mahal na ina, ilapit mo po kami sa Diyos at sa aming mga pangangailangan, sa anumang kakulangan, kayo na po ang bahalang magpuno. Amen. Tumayo na po ang lahat upang ipahayag ang ating pananampalataya. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through Him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven, 
and may the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in abundance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Amen. With the prayer of the Blessed Virgin Mary as our model, let us give praise to God and present our needs. For every petition, we shall say, May your mother intercede for us, Lord. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. For all the members of the Church, may they look up to Mary as their mother and live as worthy children of so noble a mother. Let us pray to the Lord. May your mother intercede for us. For national leaders, may they strive to further justice, peace, and the common good of the citizenry. Let us pray to the Lord. May your mother intercede for us. Lord. For the sick and the abandoned, may they feel in their sufferings and needs the protection and maternal presence of the Virgin Mary. Let us pray to the Lord. May your mother intercede for us. For all who devotely recite the rosary, may they be drawn closer to God through this prayer. Let us pray to the Lord. May your mother intercede for us. For all of us who celebrate the feast of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary of Manawag, may we, like Mary, praise God, recognize His might and mercy, and remain faithful to Him until death. Let us pray to the Lord. May your mother intercede for us, O Lord. For our personal intentions, the intentions of this Mass, and for the intentions of all the devotees of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawak, let us pray to the Lord. May your mother intercede for us, O Lord. In silence, we offer our personal intentions. Father, you sent your Son to be born of a woman, Mary. Grant that our devotion to her may show us closer to your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated.
Please stand. Pray to brothers and sisters that my sacrifice and yours may be made acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for the good and the good of all his holy church. Lord, accept these gifts as we celebrate the mysteries of your Son. May we become worthy of the eternal life he promises, who lives and reigns with you forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We'll lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. On this feast of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we praise, bless, and proclaim your name. Consenting to the divine word, Mary became the mother of God. Embracing your saving will, she became the handmaid of the Lord. Devoting herself to the life and work of your son, Mary cooperated in the mystery of redemption. Because of this, she stands before us, mother and mother of the church, now gathered by the Spirit, with one voice, we join with Mary and all the saints in triumphant hymn of praise. the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew falls, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once we were giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis I, our Pope, and Socrates, our Archbishop, and all the clergy and the religious. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that to the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, St. Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles, with our father, St. Dominic, and all the Dominican saints, with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O oh God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Please stand. Now at the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to sing. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. 
For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ has said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We now offer one another the peace of Christ. Beloved, behold our Lord Jesus, Son of God and Son of Mary, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we now who are invited to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, Amen. I am not worthy that you should enter and my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Lord our God, in this Eucharist, we have proclaimed the death and resurrection of Christ. As we ponder these same mysteries in the Rosary, help us to proclaim them to your people. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for the announcement and word of thanks. Announcement. Dear devotees of Our Lady of Manawag, we invite you to participate in today's culminating liturgical activities. 1.30 p.m. Praying of the Rosary. 4 p.m. Holy Mass with Archbishop Socrates Villegas Tiri. And immediately after the Mass, we shall have presentations of the 16 Dominican Saints, solemn procession, and the enthronement of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. You may participate in our liturgical ce celebrations online through our website, www.manawagminorbasilica.org and Facebook page, YouTube, and Manawag Dominican Radio, 102.7 FM. Thank you very much and happy feast day. Word of thanks. The Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary, Jesus Christ. Please stand. Let me thank you also personally for being with us in this Eucharistic celebration, those physically present inside the church today and those online in live streaming. To all of you, thank you so much. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads for the blessing. Born of the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Son of God redeemed the human race. May he enrich you with his blessings. Amen. You receive the author of life through Mary. May you always rejoice in her loving care. Amen. You have come to rejoice at Mary's feast. May you be filled with the joy of the Spirit and the gifts of eternal life. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon us and remain with us forever. Amen. Go in peace and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you. At this point, we'll now have the prayers for the blessing of the sick and prayers also for the blessing of rosaries and other religious articles. So for the prayer, for the blessing of the sick, those who might be here present and those at home asking for our prayers, we offer this prayer. God, our Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters, those here present and those left at home asking for our prayers. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health. Through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. For the religious articles you want to be blessed, kindly raise them up a bit as we offer these prayers. In the memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, and Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, May these rosaries, images, candles, oils, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. <laughs> 